Let's keep moving along here. I don't really need a Bowie knife. I probably will check this cabin, if only because I'm in the area. While I'm at it, let's switch the weapon to a short action pump. Just because. Dog tags. Noxious. Ow, what the? Oh, he had a shotgun too. Yeah, I'll take the short hunting rifle for parts. Might as well. The power plant. Read. The hydroelectric plant powered a lot of Charleston. A little ironic for coal country, right? I always thought they were so close to getting it back up and running when it all happened. R. So basically... Civilization was really close to coming back, and then the fucking scorched happened and ruined it all. That appears to be what happened, so. And they're just nailing that point home with every goddamn note. Every note is like, if it weren't for the scorched, we would have been fine. We would have been okay. Everything would have been copacetic. The dam. Portable fuel tank. You know, there's a part of me that really wants to take that, but I don't think I have the space right now. That is one demented teddy bear. Baseball bat barbed mod. I'll take that. You never know when you'll need a good baseball bat. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus. I fell through a hole in that thing. These guys have obnoxious... These guys have obnoxiously good aim. There's still a guy shooting me from that fucking hill. Wait, wait, what? I saw a level 10 Grafton monster. Alright, 
halt that thought. Before I get into this, let's... Do some of this. They're not firing at me anymore. They're firing at him! Holy shit! Switch weapons, switch weapons. Uh, scoped. I need that. I just want to kill this thing. Got it. 72 experience for killing him. Let's see if that apparel is better. It is not. All right, no problem. You can tell that was a glitch because that was a Grafton monster that was totally going to murder me had I not been. I mean, did you see the minimal amount of damage I was doing? kidding about the growth. Let's switch back to... That's a cooking station. up top of note a shovel that's pretty pathetic ninety meters away from seeing whatever the hell this next mystery is and then afterwards I have to go find a vendor These guys are just hopping up out of the ground today. Part of me makes me wonder, part of it makes me wonder if it's like a seasonal thing where because the season changed, now these guys are more likely to come up and murder me. <laughs>
level 15. Let's see what I get for perks. I'm going to level up immediately just to see what I get for perks. Let's open it. Bodyguards. Pack rat. You hear about the man who sells dynamite? Business is booming. Ha, hardy, 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 hard. That's good. I'll give you credit. Wait, do I not have a third here? Hold on, I need to confirm this one. Nope, I don't. But I do have an extra point for charisma, so I'll do that. Alright, let's do it. Well, this is not good. Scorched are already here. Let's go figure out what the hell happened here. The Riverside Manor. How's it going, Angel? By the way, Angel, if you want to join in, let me know. To anyone else who happens to be in the channel and uh, might be interested in playing the game, now is the chance. textbook I'll open that door in a second you know what let's switch to the short pump for this one I can play the piano here woodpile yeah I'll gather that cigar box gold plated ladder Those guys look formal. Television, anything here worthwhile? Bubble come bear. Okay. Wait, what? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're far. Okay, poke your head out. Okay, that works too. I was gonna say, poke your head out one more time, please. That's the garage. I'll head there in a minute. 
Oh my god, they walk through doors now? Motherfuckers, they're literally coming trying to flank me now. That's smart. They improved the AI. I remember when the quickest way to turn around. Ouch. Are you kidding me? Where are you? Son of a bitch. Switch weapons. Short hunting rifle. Let's go. Got him. How's it going, Destroyer? Really? What the hell is this all about? He's still alive. First of all, I played Fortnite last night and you didn't play with me. Which was funny because I had a whole bunch of people that were playing Fortnite with me last night. Where my timeout? Um, I'll just skip the timeout. Riot. <laughs> Actually, uh, if anyone wants a code to play this game, so you can play the beta. I have two codes left. So, which, by the way, the beta is the full game. Damn it, can't get through that door. That's depressing. All right, let's go up the stairs. No, it's not. Anything here, nothing there, nothing there. It is not my twin, guys. Uh, 
Unstoppable sword game. Don't need that. What I need is I need to get some base supplies here so that I can actually turn around and upgrade my weapons because that has been the one thing that I have been missing. Or I could just play simple vegetable starch. Yeah, I could use that. Patio. Don't need that. Don't need that. So, again, guys, for the record, I do have two more codes to give out to the beta. So, Fortnite handed them out. So, in case you want to play it yourself and see for yourself what type of game it is. Circle this way. Batter clipboard, don't need that, don't need that. Wonder glue bowl, don't need that. All right, let's see what the hell this is all about. I'll take both of those, actually. Miss Shannon Rivers, the mistress of mystery. Professional calendar. So her plan was recording episodes 8 through 16. A wrap party at the end of June. The Silver Shroud Studio Tour and Cast Meet, which if you played Fallout 4, you'll know what that is. So, 10-11, the dress rehearsals. So, and then apparently between the dress rehearsals and Season 1, which took place in Boston, for which you can see in Fallout 4. So, the bombs dropped on 10-23-77. So, didn't go. And of course, holiday break. So, the joke is... The Silver Shroud. There you go. Hello, Shannon. Here's your latest batch of mail. You know the drill. If you want to reply to any of this, type it up and kick me the hollow tape. Hope you're doing well. Break a leg in Boston. Ready, ready. Love you. Bye. Interesting. All right. Eye of Ra continue the issue. I want to complain about the history of the Eye of Ra. Thieves, thieves. Line could be taken more than she didn't have it with her at the time, but it seems unlikely since you were assuming the bridge is out. Wow. <laughs> That's a joke. That's the guy who turned the mistress must go. I read my interest your June interview in acting age. While your conception and portrayal of the mistress of mystery has always been above reproach, I hope you understand that many of us feel the name mistress is an unnecessarily sexualized and loaded term in a patriarchal society. On behalf of modern women anywhere, we hope you will join our petition to change the name of the character to the Sister of Secrets. Sincerely yours. Wow. Okay. Personal journal. Let's see what was going on with her. Back from LA, season 8 is spectacular, mood at a rap party was rather down, there's been no word of renewal yet, all the attention at Uber seems to be on television these days, they have less and less interest in radio. Frederick and Olivia are doing well, Olivia was all parked, packed for our annual camping trip to Seneca Rocks, but I've had to put her off. The poor dear was heartbroken, I do hate to break our tradition, but with the Silver Shroud show coming up, I simply can't spare the time. Seneca Rocks was in another game, I might add. This morning, 629, Frederick asked me to put on my costume veil and come down to the front parlor. He said he had a surprise to me. It's incredible. His little project is beyond anything the writers ever dreamed of. That man can really do anything. It's no wonder that she loves him. Calendar for the next three months is book solid. He's hired the best stunt actors, martial artists, military trainers, a cavalcade of experts, one after another, to make sure I master every technique that she'll need for the part. I don't know who they have playing the Shroud, but the Mistress of Mystery will be ready for her debut. Which unfortunately did not happen. 10-6. Heading out to Boston for rehearsals in the first round of filming. Never been more ready for a role in my life. Frederick's busy with his projects again. Olivia's tutor says she's doing well. She's here to ace her university exams. I expect nothing less. Bright girl, she has a great future ahead of her. So now we're getting to the day before the bombs dropped. Babowski played me for a fool. After a week of dress rehearsals, he called in to say they'd make other arrangements for the role of mistress. So she wasn't picked up for the role in Boston. It wasn't hard to figure out who. He had a portrait of Claire Riddell, that airbrained strumpet, on his desk. He was planning this all along. I gave that bastard a piece of my mind. 
I've been the voice of the Mistress of Mystery for 26 years. It's the role I've cared about most, the character I've championed. For every time I've created, I've tried to set up another love triangle or damsel in distress plot, and now I've been cut out. Vivi says corporates are already in talks to hire Riddell for next season serials. Damn them. All right, bombs dropped. It's amazing what a day can do to your sense of perspective. I'm so glad to be home. Frederick and Olivia are here. They're safe. Everything else we can work out. So that's right after the bombs dropped. Seven eight seventy eight. So this is several months after the bombs dropped. I'm still shaking. When the weather finally broke, we made for Charleston to replenish our supplies. On the way back, we were accosted by hooligans on the road. Frederick tried to pay them off some fresh water, a few hundred dollars. They just laughed. When they laid hands on Olivia, something in me snapped. I don't think they expected the old bitch to put up a fight, but my training just took over. I didn't even hesitate. In less than a minute, they were all laid out on the ground. I think a couple of them were dead. So she had a run-in with raiders. What else do we got? We had a long talk about the incident. I expected Olivia to be as frightened as I was, but she was exhilarated like I was suddenly a real hero. She wants me to train her. I wish it wasn't necessary. But Frederick had a point. The world has changed. We won't be around forever. One way or another, she has to learn to defend herself. But is that enough? What kind of a future does she have if the world has fallen to pieces? And what about girls who don't have anyone to stand up for them? All right. 821. I've been venturing out dressed as the mistress. Oh, okay. It still feels a bit silly, but the costume is an excellent disguise. And strange as it sounds, it makes a difference. Another group of ruffians quartered some refugees on the road from Lewisburg when their caravan broke down in the mud. I don't know how I would react to that, but after all these years, I know how the mistress would. And that confidence works. She saved them. Which, there is a log indicating that. Frederick and Olivia are rather taken with the idea. Frederick has been working day and night on new tools for me to try, and Olivia is focused on her training. She wants to be a mistress of mystery just like her. Two left. This morning, Frederick heard someone in the garage rifling through the garbage. Three someones, actually Clarissa, Eve, and Amy. Girls, not even Olivia's age, all orphans. It broke my heart. Frederick and I talked it over, and we decided to take them in. Winter is coming on, and they need somewhere to stay. We we food and space to share. I can't bear to let a child suffer if there's anything that can be done about it. All right, 429. Spring has finally come, such as it is. Every day, caravans of refu refugees pass by the house. Old families carrying everything they have. Old men, children, it's horrible. So many children have no one left. A few have been brave enough to come up to the house. I can't turn them away. I never in my life imagined running an orphanage, but what else can I do? We had Olivia move her things out to the guest house so the new girls can take the rooms on this floor. I'm going to clear her out of the study and move into my suite downstairs. At this rate, we'll need all the room we can get. So, Shannon Rivers. Search the front parlor while wearing a veil. Really? Okay. So they want me to wear the veil. Whoa, 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 what the hell was that? Admittedly, now I'm really intrigued.
It's downstairs in the basement. That's the back porch. What else do we got here? I know there was a staircase that was locked. So I'm guessing I need to go to that staircase. Nope. That leads to the patio. All right, let's run back here. I'm really perplexed as to the mystery of this location. Like I'm trying to find the stairwell. That's the garage. That goes upstairs, not downstairs. Back porch. The only thing I can think of is it's gotta be this. but it didn't work. Now I'm really confused. I had to do it just to see what it is. There it is. Sons of Dane automated alert system found. All right. Did she actually create a whole thing? Initiate of Mysteries. Council Chamber requires key. I wonder if I'm gonna find that upstairs if I look. Like that's actually pretty cool. Frederick's terminal. Let's see what Frederick had to say. Actually, no. Before I do that, let's continue doing the quest. I'm just going to do a quick run through and see what I can come up with. stuff. Janet really deserves most of the credit. It's a slick system, and networking it into cryptos will save us a lot of bookkeeping. Beyond that, usual mix. Shannon wants a recording device for her next mission. Isabella's gun prototype needed some work. 
Oh, and Eve has me working on some new programs for the Hall of Trials. Have to keep the girls on their toes. They certainly keep me on mine. Interesting. So we're talking about the mistress of mystery who lost out on a part because she was too old in Fallout 4. She apparently became a folklore and a hero in West Virginia. New initiate registration. Initiate instructions. Listen to the headmistress welcome. When finished, log into your new account. If you do not have a mentor, one will be assigned to you. Use the database queries option to search for an available mentor. If you do not have a veil of secrets, report to the production facility. As a safety precaution, initiates are not permitted to accept missions from this system. When your mentor believes that you are ready to operate independently, your promotion the novice will unlock this board. Initiates in need of a mentor should request one. Ah, whatever. So lame. Mentor Mistress Natasha Hunt on mission, Lewisburg. Your mentor is currently on a mission. You may wait for her to return or meet her in the field and assist her in the completion of her mission. Interesting. All right. The Order of Mysteries Handbook. I never thought I would be a part of something like this. All my life I was just an actress playing the part of a hero on the radio. But everything changed after the war. There were so many people in need. Girls most of all. Frederick and I were glad to adopt you to share what we could, food, shelter, and training. My old acting turned survival skills. But this world needs more than survival. It needs heroes. It needs you. In these past few years, you have shown me that together as sisters, you can accomplish anything, accomplish things that even the mistress of mystery could not have imagined. Mission Statement. It's a sisterhood dedicated to upholding the virtues of Exemplified by the Mistress of Mystery, Courage, Cunning, and Compassion. Interesting. Huh. So they have the history of the character. Man, they really went all out for this character. Ranks and promotions. Initiates are the newest members and offices continue to train under their mentor, working the master tools and technique of the Mistress of Mystery. They must complete a series of capstone missions to earn the elements of the Mistress Regalia. Seeker study advanced combat. Stay prepared for the final test. A Mistress of Mystery is a full member of the Order, Master of Stealth, Infiltration, Combat, and Tactics, capable of handling herself in any situation. The mistress of novices is the second in command, and the headmistress is the leader. Okay. So she basically created her own. That's interesting. I wonder what ever happened to Shannon Rivers. And there were a lot of people there. about cryptos curious about a little system here cryptos is a genuine robot code mainframe custom built for some top secret dia project before the war the government pulled the contract and one of my buddies asked if i wanted to take it off their hands i needed something to run shannon's new training room your hall of trials and it was a steal so i took him up on it if you have any questions don't be shy i'm always happy to talk well you know i don't want to be shy i i want to know what the hell happened to you
requires key. God damn it. So in order to figure out what happened, I'm going to need a lot of stuff. Probably. Let's see what's going on here. So I have that. Listen to the initiate holiday. Might as well do that too. Uh, where is the initiate holiday? There we are. Hello, dear. Welcome to the Order of Mystery. I'm sure you're a little nervous. I know. It's a lot to take in. But the girls wouldn't have invited you here if they didn't think you were ready. Eight years ago, I began training the girls we adopted to fight like the mistress of mystery. The hero I played for all those years on the radio. Does that sound a little silly? I suppose it did to me too, at first. But the world needs the mistress. It needs people with the strength to face the darkness, the will to survive against any odds. It needs you. It's time for you to join our sisterhood. The Order of the Mistresses of Mystery. You won't have to walk this path alone. For the next few months, you'll be training with one of your sisters. If you have someone you want to work with, that's fine. If not, Cryptos will assign you a mentor. And as soon as I get back, we'll sit down for tea. Just the two of us. I promise. I don't have anything to repair that. I need aluminum. Oh, that's just mean. Alright, meet your mentor in Louisville. Well, Lewisburg. That's so... Can, is this an, it's an elevator pod. Cool. Now I wonder what happened to her. Like, I'm hoping I'll find out what happened. At the very least. So, so far we found out that I thought it was just going to be we're going to find about two lost lovers that never got together and that was the end of it. I didn't think that they were going to basically go all James Bond on me. 